just like a baby version of the larger one. That's not important, that doesn't matter. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got a quick little review for you today on the Morphe 12S palette. So I just picked this up recently and I was really intrigued by it because I've just kind of been playing around more with Morphe shadows recently. So this is kind of like a smaller version of some of their bigger palettes, um, different colors, but just, I don't know, it's just smaller. So I wanted to try it out and share my thoughts with you guys. So we're going to talk about all the things we normally do in my review videos. We'll talk about pricing, we'll look at packaging, but that's pretty basic. We'll look at swatches, um, I'll talk about just kind of the formula, and then my overall thoughts and impressions. So let's jump into it. So the Prices palette is $14.99 and you get 12 shadows in it. So that works out to be $1.25 a shadow in this one. Now compared to the larger ones, this is my 35 o you can kind of see like packaging wise. It's pretty much the same. It just is a smaller version. It's really cute. I think it's very cute and compact. It's just like a baby version of the larger ones. So these are $1.25 a piece for the shadows. In the 35 palettes, those are $22.99. So that works out to be about 66 cents a shadow. So you're definitely getting a better value per shadow in the larger palettes. Um, but still, $1.25 per shadow is still a really good price just not quite as good as the large ones. So as far as what you get in this palette, it's a pretty warm toned, very metallic palette. So these are all shimmers, there are no mattes in this palette. So that's something to note is that you will need to bring in some mattes to really have a full eye look. So that's kind of something that it's lacking is that it's not like a collection of mattes and shimmers, but I mean, they tell us that. They say 12S, I mean, they're, they're telling us up front, this is a shimmery palette. So just know you're gonna need to bring in some mattes. But there's a really nice row of kind of lighter colors, a smoky row, and then kind of like a warm coppery row. So really pretty shades. You do have a lot of options for some great neutral eye looks with this palette. You're just gonna need some mattes with it. And I wanna show you in comparison to some of my other Morphe palettes so you can kinda of see how this one um, is similar and differs from those. It's definitely the most similar to the 35O. So this is my 35O and you can see the 12S is pretty similar. I mean, there's a lot of golden colors in both, a lot of warm coppery sort of shades in both. But with the 35O, you do have those mattes in there that kind of like helps round out an eye look. So these actually pair really nicely together and I'm wearing them both on my eyes today. I've got some of the mattes from the 35O mixed with all the shimmers from, or not all the shimmers, but some of the shimmers from the 12S palette. So here it is in comparison to 35T. So you can see these two are really not as similar. Um, I mean, I guess some of those kind of like peachy golden shades, you know, you've got one down here. Um, and then maybe like this one and this one, but I mean, they're not dupes, um, so it's not as close to this one. And then lastly, here's my 35W, and I have it turned on its side up here because mine has a mirror, and I didn't remember that, but I bought mine forever ago, so that's not important, that doesn't matter, but that's why the palette's on its side. So you can see this one's really not close at all. Um, you know, I mean, still a neutral palette, but just not as close as the 35 -0. Okay, so here they are all swatched. So right here is the top row, there is the middle row, and there is the bottom row. So I mean, you can see there are no duds in this palette. They are just all beautifully pigmented metallic shadows. If I had to choose, I would say that my favorite is that bottom row, all those beautiful coppery shades, especially those two middle ones. They are so pretty, but they're all just really gorgeous. As far as pigmentation goes, no duds here. Now, as far as formula goes on these shadows, clearly there's no pigmentation problems. They're all super pigmented. As far as how they blend and work together, I think they do work nicely together, but since they are that metallic finish, they kind of have that almost tacky texture to them. They kind of remind me of like sleek shadows, you know, where they just kind of feel almost tacky, which that means that they build really nicely on themselves and they give a really dramatic metallic look on the eyes, but they don't blend super well together. And they also get really messy. Like when I've tried to blend these, especially in my outer corner, I mean, I have had shadow down to here on my face. So they are super messy if you blend. So you really want to pack on the color with these and just kind of dab them to build up color which is kind of hard for me to remember. I always, I'm an over blender, so I always want to blend. But with these, you really have to pat them on and just know you're gonna have fallout that you're gonna have to clean up. 
but they look really beautiful on the eyes. They just have that really dramatic metallic look. They wear really well throughout the day and they, they keep that kind of really dramatic look. So they look really pretty. They're just a little bit messy and you kind of have to know um, a different technique when applying them. So my overall review on the 12S is that I like it. I think it's a cute little metallic palette. You know, if I had to choose, I would say that the 35O or the 35T are my favorites just because they have everything you need in one palette and they are a little bit better value too. But you know, you have your metallics, you have your shimmery shades, you have your mattes, which are like your grounder shades for completing an eye look. So those are kind of like all in one sort of palettes. Whereas this one, you just have to pair something with it, but it is cute, compact, little. The shadows perform really nicely. Um, so I do really like it and I've enjoyed playing with it and I'm gonna keep playing with it. But if I had to choose, the 35T and 35O still have my heart. All right guys, so that wraps up my review on the 12S palette from Morphe Brushes. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful for you. Please give a thumbs up if it was and let me know down below what you think about this palette or what are some of your favorite things from Morphe? Like, are there other palettes that you love or maybe brushes from them? Because I've tried out some of their brush sets that I have in my freelance kit. But as far as individual brushes, I don't think I have any from them. So I would love to know some of your favorite things from the brand because I might want to try some of them out. So let me know any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!